You have no time for God. You have no time to sit and eat and digest your food. You have no time to think, and the field wants it that way, needs it that way, must have it that way. There is always, please do not be misinformed about meditation, about going to the heart-mind. The heart-mind can be reached in a fraction of a second. You can walk into a room very quickly at the speed of physical thought, look at the room, look at the situation, realise that you need an answer and go into the heart mind and ask. You can isolate yourself from the other people in that room for a fraction of a second. You can tune into God just as surely as you tune into other stations on your television sets in a second, simply by pressing a button. You need that time with the heart, but that time with the heart can be between seeing people, can be when you are in an office, can be when you are driving to and from work. When the actions of the physical body are automatic, you can retreat into the heart mind and ask and pray and see what the heart mind is saying to you. The spiritual path, ladies and gentlemen, is difficult. It is difficult, 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 because all the time the field is pulling at you. All the time through the way that you feel, because you are part of a collective consciousness, and the way that people react to you when you say you wish to achieve something spiritually, always you are being pulled at, pulled at, pulled at. That is not the way, that is nonsense. Come back with us. Be the way you were before. And the field, as I said earlier, awakens, singles you out. You are not one of the sheep that are going in the same direction. You are the sheep that is making for the fence at the other side of the field, and the field does not like that. And so it concentrates on you, or so it seems. And it seems, as you walk the spiritual path, that the challenges around you become more and more and more intense and more and more and more demanding. Do not be put off by the field saying you have no time. There is always time, always a split second, always a few minutes, always the time between waking and sleeping when you go to bed at night to contemplate the heart mind and to say, no, the field is not the stronger partner. The heart mind is the stronger partner. I am working for God. God controls the situation, not the field, and I will go with what God tells me to do. Do you see that? Yeah. Do you see that? Do not give up. Do not give up. So many fall by the wayside. So many, the weight of the field crushes them, and they go back to what they were, but they can never be what they were. They have spiritual knowledge and they become even more upset, even more depressed because they do not fit into the physical world and they feel they have not time to fit into the spiritual world. There is only one world and it is a spiritual world. You are right. It is the others who are lost, who are mistaken, who are drawing energies from the wrong source. You are right. So you must keep on. Each of you in this room must keep on with the words that you say to people, with the love that you send out to people, with your own quest to discover more about yourself spiritually. Keep on, and you become beacons for the light, and you change this world forever, which is our quest. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. <clears throat> Gosh, I must have been sweating a lot. I can't open my eyes. <laughs> oh. I wish you wouldn't lock my legs. <laughs> Excuse me.
excuse me. Mm. Heavenly Father, thank you for this communication. We ask that you close Michael down safely and bring him back to full consciousness. And we ask for your blessing and protection for everyone here and for their safe journey home. Amen. Amen. Before we close, I uh, just wanted to say that we probably will have a, another Joseph evening sometime in October. I've got to fix the date up with Tony. Uh, so I'll let you know about that. Um, if you're not on my mailing list, uh, if you get a form from me, and I can notify you about that. And also uh, I do a newsletter which is quite um, interesting and, and gives you other channel teachings. I promise not to sell you double glazing or anything if I get the details. <laughs> Uh, if you haven't got um, Joseph's first book, Revelation, there's some for sale, so discount uh, value. And if you just see uh, Cameron at the end, but it really is a, a fantastic book, but then I'm biased. At the uh, end of September, we're hoping to publish Joseph's second book, which is, again, absolutely fantastic. A bit different from the first, which sort of explains a little bit about Paul and how why things are the way they are. The second book is more of a practical uh, guide as to how to navigate your way around um, life on this level. And also, it gives meditations and things that you can do, practical things you can do, send light out into the field to start that change that's necessary. Um, the third book, which might not be ready for some time, we've got about six chapters now, is absolutely fantastic. It's uh, a step-by-step -step guide to the different levels in the spirit realms, and it's just absolutely amazing book. Um, it's also as a, a small magazine called Loom, and it's only two pound fifty. And it's got a, a bonus chapter that was missing from Joseph's first book. So if you want to um, have that as well, um, some of my business cards on the, the side, which has our all our website um, details on. So if you want to go to the website, there's other channel teachings and. Um, Oh yes, if anybody would like to be interviewed afterwards, could you see uh, James, don't be shy about this, he's doing sort of the documentary DVD and you could just give your opinion of the evening. Um, unfortunately, Michael won't be able to join us, he's decided not to, because he's just in those, you know, he's sort of the equivalent of somebody who had 12 pints of beer on a Saturday night, he's just about <laughs> to but he's not looking for a fight. He just won't be able to sort of... Um, so he's not been unsociable, he's just completely out of it and uh, he's probably having a piece of cake now and learning <laughs> himself with that. But if anybody wanted a book, sign them. If you see me, I can arrange that for you. And just finally, thanks for coming and, you know, don't hurry, just to feel free to socialise. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.